Hello everyone, today I will talk about the observables and the operators in quantum mechanics. This is a very important to study the quantum mechanics because the mathematical formulation of the quantum mechanics is stand on the concept of operators. So first let's uh, start with uh, the meaning of observables. What is the observable? Observables are the dynamical variables what we measure. Let's take an example from the classical mechanics. There are certain observables. For example, if I considering this three dimensional space and if we want to locate this person here, then what we need? We need the position vector. And this position vector with the direction and magnitude gives you the position. So this position vector or position is the observable what we can measure in classical mechanics. Similarly, let's say the person is not standing at a point. He is moving in a path. So that means he is moving with some velocity v. So then another observable what we can measure is known as the momentum of the particle or the person. Similarly, if uh, this person moving around uh, a circular path, that means its rotational motion is there. So we can measure its angular momentum at any time, which is L is equal to r cross p. This is another observable or the variables what we measure in classical mechanics. There are another very important observable in classical mechanics is the energy. Let's say this uh, person is jumping in a swimming pool. So at, a, at each and every point, we can measure the kinetic energy and the potential energy of that person. So this is the observable. So this is the concept of observable in classical mechanics. And these parameters, these variables, we can measure precisely in classical mechanics, in the classical sense. But what about in quantum mechanics? In quantum mechanics, uh, we cannot measure directly these observables uh, by measuring the position or the momentum or the energy of the particle in the quantum domain. I think uh, you have uh, some knowledge about uh, the Heisenberg uncertainty principle, de Broglie, etc., wave length, uh, wave particle nature, etc. So you know that uh, to measure the position, momentum, and simultaneously, these are uh, not so easy in quantum mechanics. So, how do we get? these variables or these uh, observables in quantum mechanics let's say it and for that uh, we have to some concept of operators so let's uh, try to understand the uh, what what do you mean by the operators okay to chalo ye sab ko shayad pata hai ki addition when we add two numbers we use this plus symbol right this plus symbol is an operator for example, if we add 2 plus 2, we get the 4. So this plus is an operator which adds one operands to the another. Similarly, there are multiplication, subtraction, division, etc. Several operators are there in arithmetic. And these are known as the arithmetic operators. Right? So basically, operator means which is something which uh, connect two variables in a certain way. This is the operator. There are also differential operators. Sabhi ko pata hai ki, jaise maalo ki DDX, delta LX, nebula operator. When they operate on some function or variable, we get some values. Like uh, if we use this DDX on X square, that means DDX hits on X square, we get the 2X. So this is the very basic concept of the operators. So let's see what is the concept of operator in quantum mechanics. Before that, we would like to know how many operators are there and how many operators are sufficient to understand quantum mechanics as an introductory path. Okay, so in quantum mechanics, for each and every observable, that is, if you have the position, if you have the momentum, energy, etc., for each and every observable, there must be an operator associated with it. So let's see these operators. So for example, if you take the position, the left hand side you can get, this is the observable or the variable, right hand side, which liye kaun sa operator chahiye? R cap wala operator. Agar momentum, it is the observable or the variables, what we want to measure, aur usko paane ke liye, we have to use this momentum operator, P cap, which is minus h cross nebula. Similarly, there are the kinetic energy operator, you can see from this table, the total mechanical energy operator, angular momentum operator, the right right column here shows the operators corresponding to it each and every 
operator. Now what it means? So for that I will take one example. Let's say this is the web function psi. And uh, I believe that you must have uh, the concept, the clear concept of the psi. But uh, if you have a still doubt about the psi, about the probability density, please write me in the chat box. Liko, I will explain that one in, later on. So for that moment, Malerauki, you all have the clear concept about the wave function. Now, let's say P operator is the wave function. It acts on that psi operator. What we will get? This is the momentum P. And we also get this psi. And this type of equation is known as the eigenvalue equation. Kya hai? Momentum operator hit kar rahe, psi wave function ke upar. Kyunki hum log ko pata hai ki psi kya hai? Psi ke andar sab kuch chupa hai. Psi is the state function of the particle. Iske andar momentum bhi hai, iske andar energy bhi hai, iske andar position bhi hai. Everything is within this uh, psi. We can think it is just like a bag. And in this bag, there are so many different things. So when we are hitting by the proper operator, here we are hitting by the momentum operator, we get the momentum. Okay. So if we write uh, this in the proper uh, operator format, that is moment operator is minus h cross nebula, when we strike on that psi, we can get the momentum of that particle but uh, and uh, here this psi is the eigen function we can call it and this p is the eigen value and this is the eigen value equation we call it so let's try to understand what it means in a clear way so it is the, the eigen value eigen function psi r which is corresponding to the eigen value p what it means so let's try to understand through this picture let's say uh, this is a three-dimensional space and in this space, we are considering elementary, very small, chota psychic volume d3r around this position vector r vector. Okay, so we are considering this elementary volume. Now we know that if we take the mod psi square, which is the probability density, and if we multiply with this elementary volume, uske saath ek chota sa elementary volume ko agar multiply kar doge, to kya milega? Mod psi square d3r is the probability of finding the particle within this region, is chote se area mein particle ko dhun paane ki jo possibility hai it is represented by mod psi square d3r now from this eigenvalue equation when momentum operator hit kar raha hai ab tako momentum operator psi ke upar hit kar raha hai and we are getting the momentum p iska matlab kya hai it means that the probability of finding the particle with a momentum p in this volume elementary volume region d3r that means a chota sa particle ki probability we are looking for in this uh, elementary volume agar wo particle hame mil jaye jis particle ka momentum p hona chahiye so this is represented by this equation and this is the function of the operator to operator ke ekdam aasan uh, sentence mein samjho ki what do you mean by the operator operator ek aise cheez hota hai ki when it acts on the wave function we can get the value corresponding to this operator for example here we have operated by the momentum operator on psi we are getting the momentum of the particle if we operate this psi by the energy operator we can get the energy of the particle if we operate this psi मतलब साइ के ऊपर एक धमाका करो पोजीशन वेक्टर ऑपरेटर की ठीक है सो वी कैन गेट द पोजीशन ऑफ द पार्टिकल सो एक्चुअली व्हेन ऑपरेटर ऑपरेट्स ऑन द वेव फंक्शन वी गेट द वैल्यू और वी गेट द ऑब्जर्वेबल ओके सो दिस इज अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट कांसेप्ट एंड इफ यू फाइंड एनी डाउट स्टिल नाउ देन यू कैन राइट इन द चैट बॉक्स और थोड़ा लाइक शेयर करो यार because it encourage me to make uh, videos and if you need any other concept just write in the chat box okay